Hey guys, we're at the Printing United show at the Saudi booth. And what we're gonna show you right now is a really cool screen stretching uh, machine. I personally use Saudi's chemicals to reclaim my screens. I use their emulsion, I use their press wash. Saudi makes a great product. Highly recommend you check it out. But today we're looking at this screen stretcher. And there's some really cool things I just saw about this screen stretcher that I wanna relay to you guys. Um, in case you just wonder, how is a screen stretched? Do I want to get into it myself? I personally have a screen stretcher. It's not easy. It's, it's a messy process, but based on what I see here with the Saudi stretcher, it, it is something to look into doing uh, potentially in-house. So when it comes to screen stretching, it's as dirty of a process as reclaiming a screen practically. This is what you call a stretch and glue system. So there's really two main ways that you um, stretch a screen. You either do a stretch and glue like this, or you use a screen like a um, Newman roller frame where it's just a different process and you kind of have a different type of tool, table, and so forth. So this is the most popular way to typically stretch a screen in most shops. Um, first thing to know is typically the screen has been prepped by uh, grinding it down, removing all of the previous glue, and you often want to round the corner because when your screen starts to fail, it's typically because it, it just starts to lose the tension and starts pulling away from the corner. So the first thing you want to do is round that corner, make sure you have a nice surface so that when you glue it, it, it adheres to it and holds it down. If it's smooth, it's harder to do that. So when it comes to stretching screens, you can often stretch multiple at a time, but when you do one screen at a time, it works better. This is your typical automatic press screen, 23 by 31 uh, inches. And you can see all of the different uh, stretching uh, tools here. If you have a smaller screen, you just roll it off um, and you have fewer of them. If you wanna use a bigger screen, you need more of these. Um, but let's go ahead and stretch one. So we'll bring down this clamp and it's all pneumatic, so it's all driven by air. So you can see all of the air lines are being ran. And what I really like about this Saudi uh, machine is the fact that when you go to stretch it, it's stretching it above the screen. It's not actually on the screen, it's hovering above it. And when you stretch a screen, you have a tool here to measure how many Newtons are on the screen. So anybody who's screen printed knows you have a lot of different mesh count screens. This is a yellow, um, not sure what we're working with, but it's probably 230 um, mesh count or higher. So anytime you're over 230 or maybe even 180, you become that yellow um, tint um, fabric or not fabric uh, mesh. So when we measure the tension of a screen, you have the warp and you have the walk. So it's very important that your tension is the same throughout the entire screen. So right now we're right around 19, 20 Newtons. We want to measure it at virtually every corner. We have six points that we need to make sure that we're getting that same amount of tension. And remember, I'm not a pro uh, screen stretcher, but you can see we're very much so in the same one, two Newtons. Um, if you're not even stretching your own screens, you really want your own um, device to measure how many Newtons, what, what is the current tension of your screens, and do it periodically. Uh, keep track, because when you're screen printing, if you don't have good tension, your alignment uh, can easily be thrown off. The, the, it's just, again, when you're pushing ink through the screen, it, it's not going to be able to register as well. So what you typically do when you uh, measure, the first thing you're going to take this piece of glass, you're going to put it on a table, and you're going to zero it out. And periodically, you need to send it back to the manufacturer to make sure it is still calibrated and it's giving you an accurate reading. That's why it's typically a good idea to have multiple um, screen um, measuring devices like this that will measure how many newtons are um, your, how many newtons the screen currently is. And keep in mind, again, 
that different mesh counts need different amounts of tension. So it's very important to listen to the manufacturer. Hey, if this is a 310 mesh, you need this amount of newtons to keep it stable and have that accurate um, stretch. So what I really like about this Saudi uh, machine is the fact that we have now stretched it above the frame. So by stretching above the frame, you're getting a more accurate read and, and it's just better. But then with a turn of a knob, it'll lower onto the mesh. And again, this is more of when I would actually measure how many newtons um, the mesh is. And then you would take a, uh, some glue, throw it around the corner, and then there's an agitator. You spray and then it solidifies. Now something I didn't learn, I didn't know until today, is the longer you let the mesh sit on the screen, the better um, time of holding that tension. So if we let this sit for 10, 20 minutes versus start gluing it right now, we're gonna be able to hold that tension for a longer period of time. And, and you're just gonna have a better screen because th this is something you don't wanna be doing very often. You wanna only have to stretch a screen once it starts losing its newtons and its tension. So in conclusion, Saudi makes great products, whether it be chemicals or equipment for stretching screens, cleaning screens, highly recommend you look at Saudi. Um, they've never steered me wrong. The products are very reasonable in price and, and the support is great. So check out Saudi and hopefully you find this video helpful.